In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. I wanted to share with you one of my most favorite reflections. It's a reflection by Carol Hauslander, entitled, Wood of the Cradle, Wood of the Cross. And it shares beautifully about the mystery of Jesus living in Mary. The infant Christ is the whole Christ. Christ was not more God, more Christ, more man on the cross than he was in his mother's womb. But by his own choice, all this was to depend on a human being giving herself to him in his infancy, giving her own humanity to the actual making of that infant's humanity and giving him her life in which to rest. If every person in whom Christ lives at all, in whom he is an infant, which means anyone whose soul is alive at all, surrendered themselves to him, resting in him so that he might rest in them, in each one of them, the world's redemption would begin as it began in Mary, the mother of God. Christ is formed in us and we are formed in Christ when we rest in him and he rests in us. During Advent, Christ rested in Mary, still, silent, helpless, utterly dependent. The Creator trusted himself to his creature he trusted to her the expression of his love, the expression of God's love for the world and of his love of his Father, just as the work of his love would be trusted to us in his life in us. He was dumb, his vo her voice was his voice. He was still, her footsteps were his journeys. He was blind, her eyes were his seeing. His hands were folded, her hands did the work of his hands. His life was her life, his heartbeat was the beating of her heart. From the moment when the Christ life is conceived in us, our life is intended for one thing, the expression of his love, his love for God and for the world. Our words are to be the words that he wants us to speak. We must go wherever he wants to go. We must see and look at whatever he wants to see and look at. The work that our hands do must be the work that his hands want to do. Our life must be the living of his life, our loves the loving of his heart. But there is another aspect of Christ's advent. While he remained hidden in Mary, his rest was a tremendous activity. He was making her into himself making himself from her.
From her eyes, he was making the eyes that would weep over Jerusalem, that would shine upon the wildflowers, that would close in death and open on the morning of resurrection. From her hands, he was making the hands that would heal and raise the dead and be nailed to the cross. From her heart, he was making the heart whose love would redeem the world. The same thing occurs when, allowing the infant Christ to rest in us, we wait patiently on his own timing of his growth in us and give him just what he asks. The extremely simple things that are ourselves, our hands and feet, our eyes and ears, our words, our thoughts, our love. Not only does he grow in us, but we are formed into him.